Good morning. It's a really rainy day outside. It's been raining all night and then raining all morning. And the big problem is, not only is it grim out there, but it's also grim in here. Look how untidy this place is. It's just stuff everywhere. Usually we wouldn't show you guys this, but it's time you knew the truth. There's all cleaning products and stuff like that. Old batteries. Uh, I don't even dare really show you this room. <sighs> Tools everywhere, just stuff. It's not even like the cafe's really messy, it's just got a lot of stuff in it and it's starting to look like the kind of boat that hasn't been lived in for a while. Because the truth is it hasn't, it's been about a couple of months since we opened the cafe because of one reason or another, we've had Covid in that time and stuff like that. But we need to get this cafe back up and running and for more reasons than just tidiness. <laughs> Now, talking about finances can get a little awkward, so let me first provide some context and try and explain how we got into this situation in the first place. So in 2018, Joanna and I were both working as television editors. We were cooped up in dark edit suites all day, and we kind of decided that we didn't want to spend our lives doing that. We wanted to have experiences, and basically, in 2019, we set off on a pair of narrowboats to travel the country and test our theory that we would rather be poor but happy. So we spent all of our savings turning this cafe into a narrow boat with the plan that we could travel around the country making just enough money to get by and if we needed to we could always go back to work as TV editors but we would have had a lot more fun than if we'd just spent the whole time cooped up in edit suites watching other people's experiences on the footage but never having any of our own. So the plan of the the plan of having a cafe boat and travelling around the country just seemed like a nice idea for something to do for a year or two while we figure out what our next move would be. Neither of us thought that this would ever be the long term plan. We didn't think it would be this fun. But we have run out of savings. Let me show you. This coffee machine cost us a lot. The grinder next to it costs more than you would think a grinder would cost. This thing, Joe can't bake without it, costs a lot. Replaced the batteries recently, no prizes for guessing how much that cost, it cost a lot. This thing, that was actually just hanging around on the boat when we got it so it didn't really cost us anything. The boat itself, I'll just tell you, it cost 20,000 when we bought it. We bought it as a bit of a wreck, didn't get a survey, didn't look at the hull, didn't even see the engine running, nothing. Bought it for 20 grand. So the space that I'm standing in is basically the sum total of all of our money and all of our efforts for the last couple of years. And now I'm just going to do it. I'm going to show you what we've got in our bank, the number. This is all the money that between Joe and I we have at the moment in the world. Get ready to cry. Can you see that? Now, I should probably be embarrassed or something to show you that, but the truth is, for me, now this is where things get exciting. The reason it excites me to be this broke is because this is what we did this for. This feels like the real test. The savings are gone. That's all the money we have. 
can we make it work? This weekend we're going to try and open the cafe and I want to kind of share with you guys how we do on it. So I want to let you know how much we spend on ingredients. Oh yeah, you're right. How much we get in profit and we can decide together whether it's worth it. <laughs> Check out this view from up here, this is amazing. Oh, it's horrible out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you forget how slow going it is towing. Yeah, it's taken ages. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat after me. You are a gifted and powerful entrepreneur. I am a gifted and powerful entrepreneur. In business, your clear mind and laser focus mean you shine brighter than the rest. In business, my clear mind and laser focus mean I shine brighter than the rest. Negotiation comes naturally to you and you always achieve your goals. Negotiation comes naturally to me and I always achieve my goals. Good. Now go get them, tiger. I'm ready. Is there any room to negotiate on that? No. Okay. Do you want your receipt, sweetheart? Yes, please. So, all that came to £36.80, which is a little bit more than our £23 budget, but still not bad. So now we're just heading up to a, a flight of locks called the Bosley Lock Flight. Big old flight of locks. So this is the first lock of the Bosley Lock Flight. There's 12 in total. We're going to slip up here with the cafe boat as well and that's where we're going to open at the top of the lock flight this weekend. Okay, so I suppose some of you are probably wondering, wait a minute, you spent £36 in the shop but I thought you only had £23. Well, truth be told, we borrowed some money. Uh, we ended up, we had to go to A&E yesterday um, because William had a fever and a little rash with it and uh, on the doctor's advice we ended up going to A&E. He's totally fine now, but it just meant that we spent that money, we spent £23 just getting to the hospital and back. So the video is going to be a pretty short one if we stuck to the letter of our law and we failed our mission. Pretty sort of short and not, maybe not very satisfying video. So we had to borrow £100, so that's how much we've got now. 
So we spent £36. We're cheating because it's borrowed money. Uh, let's see if we can still make a profit. Here we are at the top of the Macclesfield Canal. That feels pretty good. Now it's time to get baking. It's Saturday, so we're gonna to open tomorrow. I'm hoping to make 36 mince pies, a spiced orange cake, and a coffee and walnut cake. And then maybe tomorrow morning I'll do like a Victoria sponge or something like that. The first step is to boil the oranges whole, and then you blitz them to a pulp and mix them with almonds. Like, doesn't that sound incredible? <laughs> Whilst those oranges are cooking, I'm gonna send out an Instagram post to say that we're here and we're open. Because otherwise no one will know and we'll just have a lot of cake um, left over, which will be lovely for us to eat, but bad for the bank balance. <laughs> Do that. Oh, it's just posted it. 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Would you come down to that? Okay, and we'll see if that works. <laughs> Whilst the oranges are doing their thing, I'm gonna get it on with my pastry for the mince pies. It smells incredible, isn't it? I think maybe it's time we address the elephant in the room. We make other money as well as just from the cafe boat. What? Believe it or not, we make money from doing these videos. And it's also uh, another reason why I'm not freaking out so much about having so little money. It's partly because we've reinvested quite a lot of the money. Like the reason why we haven't got much money at the moment in the first place is because we've reinvested quite a lot of it into our online shop and into the videos and stuff like that buying equipment and buying stock and things so it's not like we've just been spendthrifts and we can't keep hold of money at all and it's not like we can't afford to be optimistic about that we will have more money in the future it's just that at the moment <laughs> we don't really have much but that's why i thought that being that now would be an interesting time to make a video about it so that's what this is about I think we feel pretty lucky to be able to do this, to let it go so low, you know, and not be like too worried. Yeah. It's a good position because there's been times when <laughs> where it wasn't so fun. William, you look worried. Don't despair. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Smells incredible. Um, so that's in the oven and now I'm going to get on with the mince pies. I'm pretty pleased with that pastry. I'm trying to get it all the same thickness, but some are a little bit thicker than others. Not all of these mince pies are made equal. Good morning. It's pretty early. I've just come over here to get things ready, get things warmed up. Today's the day, hopefully, we make some money back. Look at the rise on that. I'm so excited about that. I didn't think it would be so deep. And then I've got a syrup here. This is orange juice, orange zest, sugar and water. And I'm just going to wait for that to cool a bit and then pour that over. Then I'm going to toast some flaked almonds and scatter them over. This is going to be delicious. Coffee cake is in the oven. The one thing that could totally still ruin this plan is the weather. If it rains, I think like it's sort of as good as calling it off because we were asking people to sort of walk down a canal where there isn't really any shelter in, I think it's about four degrees at the moment. And if it rains on top of that, we're done for. Mm. 
weather report. It's looking a little gloomy. <laughs> you're in it now, you're in it. You can always edit it out. I'll stop filming now and I'll get on with the coffee. <laughs> this is where you get nervous and you go like, did I, put, uh, did I actually put sugar in there? Always feels nerve wracking when there's a bit of a queue, it takes me so long to make these drinks. <laughs> and then the till takes ages, but we get there in the end. I'm really low on change, just a minute, let me see. Um, I'm really sorry about the change, but that is 2.40 change. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much. Recently yeah, we've been you. pretty naughty and we've been di dipping our hands into our own till, <laughs> stealing our float, Too which just means that yeah. now we don't have any change to give people, so Joe's, we've been rifling through pockets and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> Oh, what would you like? You make life yeah. hard to yourself doing things like that, don't you? But at the time, you can't help it. Oh, one of each. Okay. <laughs> Get you into focus. Oh, oh it's a video. <laughs> and you're on. There you are, two minutes five. Sorry, I, made, I think I made that really unnatural. <laughs> I'll do a quick update from in here. Um, we've sold out of orange cake, sold out of coffee and walnut cake, we've got a few mince pies left. Um, we had like quite a queue going on. It's still going on. I better get out there. But um, it's going really well. And lots of people showed up, so thank you for coming down. <laughs> right, so that's it. It's closing time. Let's see how we did, shall we? Wait, hold on first, oh, okay. before you look. How much do you think we did? I'm gonna say 95. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say 120. Okay. Let's see. It's 187. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> You're well surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Number of sales, 17. Average sale amount, if you're interested, 11 pounds. And do you want to know what the top selling products are? Yeah. So 57 pounds on the 60 on cake. Mince pies, 36 pounds. Hot chocolates. We knew there'd be a winner in this weather. 33 pounds 60. Lattes, £30, and then cappuccinos, flat whites, Amer Americanos, teas, and a water. Who bought a water? Good question. I've obviously just been pressing random <laughs> buttons in the till. Vic's been giving away things for a pound. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't think I'd find out. <laughs> That's a really good day for us, especially like short notice in the middle of nowhere. And I baked about half of what I normally would because of our limited budget for the ingredients. <laughs> so I don't think we could have done any better than that, really. That's really, really good. That's so good. I kind of can't believe that. So how that profit breaks down. We spent about £36 in ingredients. So we made £151 profit. Now, obviously, there's some other little hidden costs involved in there as well that we haven't factored in. But that's pretty good. I mean, I guess if you were going to work that out for like two people and however many days that we've spent baking and then opening getting the box here, that, yeah. I mean, maybe then it makes less sense as a business, but it's still a really good way to spend the day, a really nice way to, you know, make that money. And that's just enough money for us to get by on for until we next open the cafe boat, which is yeah. really cool. That's as much as you can ask for, isn't it, really? If you're going to put a cafe on a boat, most you can ask for is enough money to get by on. <laughs> yeah. That's nobody's plan. I'm like, don't, don't worry about me, I'm going to be rich. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cafe on there. Just turn the on clean down. 
So maybe that's it for this video now. But thanks for watching. Yeah. Hope you found it interesting. We need you guys and thanks for always showing up. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Big thanks to the patrons. Bye. Getting rid of going that way. <laughs>